Cal BHP UK and on the dyno today we have BMW's F800R. It is the 800cc or thereabouts twin engine that they do, uh, the precursor to the F900 that we did a little while ago. This is a bike that we've not really, we don't see many of these on the road. We are going to do what we always do, uh, run it up on the dyno, see what it's doing. We've got a good idea of what uh, the air fuel ratio and such like is going to be, but there's nothing like knowing what the air fuel ratio actually is and how BMW have set it up. So we're going to run it up on the dyno, do a full set of data logging on it and then we'll come up with a tuning strategy to make it feel perfectly get rid of any of the vibrations and lumps and bumps in the power delivery curve and we'll get it running absolutely perfect The F800R, uh, what do we manage to do to it? Well, these bikes, I really do think that these are a really underrated bike. Uh, they were the precursor to the 900R, and with the tune, we absolutely managed to transform this bike. At wide open throttle, we went up 287 from 85 brake horsepower. Negligible gains, really. We extended the RPM lim limiter a little bit because the bike kind of hits maximum output and then hits the rev limiter straight away. Uh, it gives you a little bit of rollover. It doesn't make any more power as such. But the biggest gains were below, everything below 100% throttle opening. And the less the throttle was open, the bigger the gain and the bigger the improvement that we actually managed to make to this bike. At 75%, you can see that we've managed to eradicate the power dip or the flat spot between four and a half and five and a half thousand RPM. And then again, at six to 8,000 RPM, as you can see, the blue line is the stock bike. There's two fairly prominent dips there at 75% throttle. We've been able to smooth both of those out and that should transpire to a much smoother power delivery on the road. 50%, this is where it gets really interesting here. You can see that the stock bike was actually running at about 14.7, 14.6 to one air fuel ratio. We've had to dump quite a lot of fuel into it. And you can see here that the big spike in power from the stock bike at 5,000 RPM has totally been smoothed out. We've now got a really nice smooth parabola all the way across. Uh, there's no flat spots in it. The throttle response is absolutely brilliant on the road now. You can see here at 25% throttle, the power delivery is absolutely everywhere you get a really flat, dull power delivery up to 5,000. Then you get this spike up to uh, up to about 5,500 RPM, and then the power kind of just sort of like drains away again. You can see the ridges in the power plot. This is how lumpy uh, and rough the power delivery is. After the map, after putting the fuel in, optimizing the timing, the power delivery is now really smooth. No matter where you are in the throttle opening, no matter where you are in the RPM range, the power delivery really is nice and smooth throughout. This bike is available on our ECU flasher. If you're not local to us, this device allows you to take a read from your bike, send that file to us, we send you back a modified file to make your bike fuel and run optimally. Even if you have the successor to this bike, the F900, we do have a full development program on that. You'll find that in a link that some of the video guys will shove up here somewhere. We really do hope you're enjoying what we bring you to the channel. Please do hit the subscribe, the like and the bell icon. It'll keep you notified of any new development and projects that we've got in the pipeline. We've got some really interesting projects and development in the pipeline and it'll keep you notified of those.